Begin by placing the reaction flask onto the heat mantle. Insert the temperature probe and set up an argon flow. Begin the stir bar and set the temperature to 200 degrees centigrade. Begin an argon flow in the selenium precursor flask. Underneath the fume hood, open up your TBP and insert an argon needle. With argon flowing, draw out 0.58 milliliters of TBP. Be sure to hold on to the needle of the syringe to prevent leakage. Inject the TBP directly into the precursor flask. Once you have finished, immediately reseal the TBP underneath the fume hood using parafilm wax. Place the precursor flask into the sonicator and sonicate for several minutes until the selenium completely dissolves. It will be necessary to shake the flask several times during this process to ensure that you have all the material completely dissolved. Once your material in the reaction flask has turned cleared, allow it to cool to room temperature. Once it has cooled to room temperature and resolidified, stop the argon flow and remove one septum. At this point, add your measured out ODA and TOPO directly into the reaction flask. Once it is added, reseal the flask and begin the argon flow again. Return the flask to the heat mantle and heat the reaction flask to 280 degrees centigrade. After the solution has turned clear in the reaction flask, inject all of your selenium precursor at once. The reaction will begin immediately. Start a stopwatch for 5 minutes and immediately begin drawing samples. Use a glass syringe to draw approximately 0.1 ml samples of the reaction material, placing it into collection flask full of chloroform. Continue taking samples throughout the reaction. After 5 minutes, remove the flask from the heat mantle and shut off the heat. You will notice that the fluorescence of the samples change from green to red. Once the reaction is complete, allow the solution to cool to room temperature. Once it is cooled, pour off the solution into two centrifuge test tubes. Use chloroform to remove the remainder of the material from the reaction flask and pour this into the same test tubes. Use the magnetic wand to ensure that your magnetic stir bar does not fall into your test tubes. Continue adding chloroform until you have an equal volume in each test tube. Shake the test tubes to ensure the material is mixed well and centrifuge for several minutes. A solid will form on the top and a liquid will remain on the bottom. Draw off the liquid from the bottom and redistribute it into three different test tubes. Add chloroform to each of the test tubes until you have an equal volume in each. Shake to ensure the material is mixed properly and centrifuge for several minutes. You will notice that the precipitates have gathered on one side and a clear liquid remains. Pour off the liquid and save the solids. Add fresh chloroform into each test tube to redissolve the crystals. Shake to ensure that all the precipitate is properly dissolved. Use the same solution to dissolve the crystals in all three test tubes. Once all the crystals are dissolved, Pour the final solution into a glass vial. Be sure to label your vial properly. This is your cadmium selenide solution.